What is my favorite kind of flip? I was recently asked that. Here's my answer, an easy one. The easier the flip, the more I like it. As an investor, we wanna figure out how can we get in and out and make the most amount of money in the least amount of time. So there are all different types of flips and people aren't always aware of that. We all think about flips as the HGTV special, right? The ones where we buy a ugly house and we fix it up and we sell it. We've been programmed with that for years. And while we've done hundreds and hundreds of those, what we also do are some very simple cosmetic flips. So we might buy a house that just needs a new hot water heater or a new roof, something very simple, put it back on the market and sell it. In a market that's as hot as it is right now, you can get away with a lot of that because people are starving to buy a house. Inventory is very low and demand is very high. So you don't have to necessarily do a full-on renovation to make a great income. We have a house recently we bought. We just put a hot water heater in it. We actually fixed the back door on it. So we put about $1,000 into it. We sold that house and made around a $58,000 of a profit because we bought the house right. Now that's an easy, simple flip. Is it pretty to look at? No. You know, is it the, the, the glamour before and after shots? No, but your bank account will thank you. And it's not because you're doing a bad flip, it's because you found a house that did not need very much work. So the secret is always to you make your money when you buy. We teach that over and over again, that when you make your money when you buy. And if you buy a house right, some houses you can buy and sell as is. Did you know that? You can buy a house and sell it as is. How would you like to buy a house, literally put it on the market and sell it the next day and make a 25, 30, 40, 50,000 50, profit just for finding the deal? That's very possible. That's a very simple as is flip. That's something you can do. Or again, look for a cosmetic flip, right? Something that, that doesn't require massive, extensive renovation, like not tearing walls down, not fixing foundations and all that. What would I stay away from in a flip? If you're new, I would stay away from major foundation damage. Those types of houses can be very difficult or anything with major environmental problems. If it has asbestos, if there's been oil on the property, if there's been um, any kind of EPA issues, anything that's major like that, I'd be very, a fire damage house, I'd be very cautious on something like that or taking on something like that when you're brand new. Now, if you have experience, you can do that. I would have some money in your coffers though to be ready because those renovations, those very complicated, if they have foundation problems, if they're fire damage or EPA or environmental problems, those types of houses can take a lot of money from you quickly. So I'd be very, very cautious on those deals as you're going forward. Make sure you have some money behind you so that if you have a mistake in one of those houses, you can do it. We've made great money on those. We've also lost money on those deals. So those deals that take a lot of work do require more risk. There can be a bigger upside because less people are buying those houses. But again, in this market, people buy almost anything. It's a little bit crazy out there. So my advice looking for a flip is do what I do. Look for the easiest flip possible. Last year, we flipped over 100, actually we flipped exactly 100 houses in the upstate New York market. And several of those were buying and selling as is because we make our money when we buy. And if you buy the house right from a motivated seller, you can turn around and sell that house to another end user or cash investor and make a lot of money for it. So you decide what kind of, want, what kind of flip you wanna do. And I'll tell you, if you can figure out how to make the most amount of money in the least amount of time, it may not be a pretty picture to show before and after, but your bank account will show a pretty nice before and after.